welcome back to everybody's favorite day of the week. It's Mailbag Monday. Let's get started with USB cable. Or so it claims. Of course it isn't. It is in fact a wee bag of LEDs. Always a handy thing to have around. You never know when you want to uh, make some light. What does this one look like? Oh wow. Is that actually UV? It might just be. Well, that's neat. They're quite bright. So yeah, where's there's something else white though. I think that is a UV LED. And they are in that straw hat form factor. That's kind of neat. All right, this took a while to find these, and I didn't actually find the listing because it's uh, so ancient. This took uh, almost four months to get here. Um, I paid, uh, was it two dollars and two dollars and twenty-eight cents or something like that for fifty of these. These are five millimeter straw hat UV purple super bright LED light emitting diode, um, and there's. There's the actual description that the original seller had. And there's not too much to say about them. They're just LEDs. Let's see what the next thing here is. It just says JC357 times 1. Who knows? It might even be the real name. Oh, they're little tiny test clips. Okay, I remember when... Uh, where are these? Remember when I got these ones and these ones in... Some kind commenter suggested, hey, there's some even smaller ones of that form factor. And that's what these are here. Get in there. So there's the difference in size between them. I'll zoom in here. And... Uh, come on, fumble, fumble. And there's the difference in size in the grabber. So it is a little bit narrower. So it can get in between the pins of an IC. What have I got kicking around here? How about our old friend, this guy? So they don't really grab onto the IC pins as well as I thought, but they do get onto small components like that pretty nicely. Um, or if you're in densely packed territory like that, they can get in there. And so can this one, but if you're trying to get multiples in there, they're pretty big. And of course for ICs, there is these ones which are designed to be nice and tiny and get in between there. And you can get more than one on. So it's always good to have a variety of test clips and test leads lying around. That'll be a nice addition. I'm not sure if I'll make up wires like these ones for them, or if I'll just go uh, end to end, just basically uh, like that. Maybe I'll do a variety. Not sure yet. I'll have to think on that one. Ten pieces wire kit test hook clip grabbers probe for multimeter Arduino SMT SMD. No, not really SMT. Maybe kinda. Uh, I got these from Better Shop 777. I actually paid a dollar seventy nine for the ten pack. Currently, he is selling them for dollar forty nine, so that's awesome. Uh, what did he? This took almost two months to get here. Thank you, Canada Post. Okay, what is this little guy? It says magnifier repair tool. Hmm. Okay. A little box looks sort of like a magnifier. It is a magnifier, but this one is a loop style magnifier as opposed to just these ones that I bought a few months ago. I think I ordered this at the same time. God, how long ago was it that these things showed up? Um, and it doesn't say how powerful a magnifier it is. No, but it does Let's zoom in here a little bit. It does actually magnify, so that's good. That's 
that's not bad. I'd call that at least double, right? Now, these ones, they're shaped like this, not really to stand like that, although it can. Their original purpose to shape like this is you sort of pinch that in your eye socket, which is useless to me because I've got glasses on. But I'm thinking that the fact that this one has little thingies on it, little holes in the side of it, that maybe it is, in fact, for illumination through the side. Oh, what a dummy. It says 10 times right on the side. Um, okay, uh, let me just rig this up here. I'm wondering if... Yeah, look at that. Maybe that's what that hole is for. Okay, so is that... That's no 10 times magnification like that, though. I wonder if you know, 10 times and still be in focus. Is that 10 times before we start losing focus? I don't know, maybe. Anyway, another magnifier to add to my collection of, ma of cheap magnifiers. And I'm guessing it was cheap. Well, there's another one that took a lot of finding. 10 times monocular magnifying loop lens magnifier eyeglass jeweler repair tool CV from Antone, Antone clothing? Antone? Something like that. Uh, I did, in fact, pay only 99 cents. And, well, it's everything we need to know about it. It's right there, except, let me look at my notes. This took literally six months to get here. Wow. Let's see if there's anything interesting in this big one. It says gadgets, other electronics. Oh, things are looking up. There's more than one thing in here, I think. No, there's only one thing. Whatever. Um, what is some kind of an Arduino shield, maybe? Oh, it's a shield for a nano. Okay. Um, so what do we have here? It calls itself a Keys CNC. Looks like there's three or six things that can hook up over there. You got capacitor, a bunch of other. Um, in here, that's not very pointy. Um, hmm. So in here we have D12, D11, and then X plus and minus, Y plus and minus, Z plus and minus. So that is sounding kind of like it's a CNC controller thing. Got analog 5 and 6 there. Cool enable, resume, hold, and abort. Pins labeled out there. Um, got motor voltage, selector. Ground 5 volts TXRX, ground 5 volts SDA and SCL, one marked E stop, a reset button, 3.3 volts and ground over there, and these ones aren't really labeled. These pins that aren't populated down here are labeled hot, uh, is that motor VCC motor ground? Hmm. And. X, Y, and Z, four pins, steppers maybe, I'm guessing, maybe, probably. But these three sets of uh, pins here aren't labeled at all. What's hiding under those capacitors? Absolutely nothing. Hmm. I don't remember ordering it. Which doesn't really matter because some of this stuff's been hanging around or in transit for a very long time. CNC Shield V4 Engraving Machine Stepper Motor Driver for Arduino Gerbil Compatible. Uh, GRBL. Hmm. I bought mine from Heaven Stores. Uh, this isn't the price I paid. I paid $2.90 and I think it was an auction. But uh, him and just about everybody else right now is selling them for about $3.87. Let's see what it has to say about it down here. So, 3-axis stepper motor driver, okay. 
So these sets of pins here are for stepper motors. Um, compatible with microdrive laser machine, 3 axis CNC, etc. 2 amp can be controlled. Release the I2C. You can connect an LCD or something like that to it. Okay. Release the digital I.O. interface for end stops, I guess. That's what they could use those for. Sure. Uh, oh yeah, there is a regulator there. Okay. Which makes sense with this uh, barrel jack down here. Makes perfect sense. But it doesn't say what goes on there. I'll have to take a look at Key's website, I suppose. Alrighty, so after a little bit of uh, Googleizing, I found the board on the Key Studio uh, wiki here. And yeah, it does need to have some, um, some stepper motor modules. Where are they? Uh, uh, these ones here, which I do actually have some of completely by random. I don't think I ordered them for this because I don't remember ordering this. But those modules plug in these, uh, what are they, A4988 stepper motor drivers. Um, they plug into those three slots there and drive the stepper motors. And then this just runs you through everything you need to do turn this into the brain box for a CNC or any other three axis thing really. Um, you could use it to drive a laser cutter or um, a homemade CNC like I said or potentially a crude 3D printer something like that. Um, or I suppose we want to make your own plotter or something like that. That's neat. Anyway it's it even has the code and so what is a Gerbil controller anyway? It sounds like ah, a piece of software used to send G code to CNC machines. So okay. So basically I guess your computer sends G code to this thing through uh through the through the USB, possibly? Or the main board using the USB cable, connect directly to your external devices, choose the port the same as the IDE COM port, okay, and then you can drive it around and do whatever it is that you want. That is slick! Wow, do I want to go to that effort and build one of those? I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, I do have some of these little uh, stepper driver modules, and they just plug straight on there. Well, that's nice. There is a video that I did actually a few months back. I'll try and remember to link it down in the description, uh, where I was playing with these stepper motor modules and a couple of uh, smaller stepper motors that I've got kicking around here. I don't think I've got anything high enough torque or the right form factor to actually create some sort of a 3D XYZ uh, drilling, milling, grinding, printing, lasering machine. But, hmm, possible project. Have to think about that. Thing the fifth. And it just has a part number on there. It's fairly heavy though. Whatever it is, it's kind of cylindrical. Oh, hey! Wow, a solder paste. Again, something else I ordered forever ago. So this is two tubes of of the solder paste that's all over eBay. Hopefully it's not all dried up in transit and storage and stuff. So 10 cc's each alloy lead tin, 6337, which is good. It's not uh, the, the non-leaded stuff. And I ordered a long time ago, well actually, same time as I ordered this, ordered some uh, syringes for dispensing, and what else did I get? Oh, some uh, needle tips too. So let's see if this is all dried up or not. Hopefully not. Well, it moves. 
And you can kind of see it moving inside the tube there. Hmm. Let's just see if I can actually get any of the solder out of there. Oh, it's still liquid-ish. Oh, paste-ish. Okay. That's a good sign. Julian Eilet was messing around with these many, many months ago after I ordered this, but before, obviously, it was received. Oh, what's going on with this one? This one seems to have leaked a little bit in transit. That's not performance. Let's uh, pick that up and grab another toothpick. Is this one dried up and cruddy? These things do have a shelf life, apparently. Hmm, okay. Well, it seems that it's not completely destroyed anyway. It's really, really viscous, though. Much more so than I thought. Um... I'll have to, now I'll have to go through some experiments, kind of like Julian did, seeing if this uh, stuff can actually work. I'm just going to hit these with the heat gun a little bit and see what happens. Well, hey, that one worked. Yeah, I'm getting little balls of solder. Okay. So it can work. That's good. All right. So it's not completely destroyed. Let's go check the listing. Mechanic XGZ40 10cc syringe solder paste flux uh, uh, tin 63 lead 37 25 to 45 UM micrometer maybe paste one pieces. So I bought two of those, the two of them, from Jewelry Finding Shop, but I bought them as two separate auctions, and they don't seem to sell them as a buy it now, it's only as auction. So this is one that they're currently running, it's four days out, so obviously it's going to cost more by the time the auction's done. But the two that I bought, uh, one of them I got at $3.01 at auction, and the other one $2.86 at auction. Um... I was bidding on a bunch of stuff assuming that I'd get 10% of it and I actually won both of these. So whatever, uh, it's just the risk you take doing eBay auctions. Um, the buy it now price from a lot of other places is you know four and a half to five dollars generally. Um, this guy, oh that's an auction so it could be anything. But yeah it's just typical solder paste. So hopefully I can do some experiments and practicing, maybe use those syringes that I bought, maybe thin it out a bit with some flux so that I can actually extrude it, and try using hot air solder paste technique for soldering surface mount. Just for a skill builder, mostly. And that wraps it up for another mailbag. Another interesting assortment of stuff that I'd mostly forgotten that I'd ordered. Or given up all hope on seeing. Um, the solder paste. Like I said, skill building experiments. This guy. Not sure. But uh, could be a good experiment at some point. These test clips are going to come in handy. Always use another magnifier. And of course these UV LEDs. Because more LEDs is always better. I just had to put them in something to see them do their thing. And why wouldn't I use anything other than that chase circuit? Because I just like it so much. All right. Thanks for watching. As usual, thanks to my Patreon supporters for helping me fund my little endeavors here. Um, click on the link down below. Hint, hint. Um, I will talk to you later. Oh, right. Comments, uh, questions, etc. Down below. Yeah. Okay. Now for real. Talk to you later.